Hello, my name is Jerry Bant with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video details the steps for how to identify and fix a call management system, or CMS, R16.3, problem with excessive growth of weblog files. Here is an overview of what will be covered in this video. First, I will take you through two slides explaining the problem and how to verify that a CMS system is experiencing this problem. The final slide will provide details about the permanent resolution for this problem. After going over the slides, I will provide a demo showing the steps for a temporary workaround until the permanent solution is applied. The problem is that the Catalina web log files may grow to a point that they fill up the slash opt file system on the CMS server. When the slash opt file system reaches 99% full, CMS will automatically turn off data collection to the ACDs and place itself in single user mode. CMS will lose data during this time. This problem only affects CMS R16.3 systems that are using the new CMS Supervisor Web feature. Customers on previous CMS releases or those that only use the CMS Supervisor PC client will not be affected. This slide details how to tell if a CMS system is experiencing this problem. The first indication is that when a user logs into CMS, they will receive a message stating that CMS is currently in single user mode and that the slash opt file system is 99% full. There should also be a message in the slash var slash elog slash elog file indicating a full disk warning on slash opt. The permanent fix for this problem will be in the CMS R16.3 Service Pack 1. This service pack is currently targeted for release in late February or March of 2012. There will be a PSN published on support.avaya.com when Service Pack 1 is available for download. Any customers who experience this problem or are using the CMS Supervisor web feature should install Service Pack 1 when it is available. Once Service Pack 1 is installed on the CMS system, then the manual workaround will no longer be necessary. The system will monitor the log files and keep them to a limited size. The details for this problem and the workaround are also provided in PSN 003551U on support.avaya.com. Now I will go into a demo showing the steps for a temporary workaround to fix this problem. For this demo, I am logged into a CMS R16.3 lab system as a standard CMS user. I will demonstrate the commands to stop and start the CMS web feature and remove the Catalina log files that can cause this problem. I will also demonstrate how to turn data collection back on for the ACDs and put the CMS system back into multi-user state. In a production CMS system experiencing this issue, you would first log in as a root level user. Then stop the CMS web feature by entering CMS web stop. Now change directory to slash opt slash CMS web slash Tomcat 6 slash logs. I will enter ls-l to list the files in this directory. In a production CMS system with this problem, the catalina.out log files would be excessively large and need to be removed. To remove all of the catalina.out log files in this directory, type rm space catalina.out asterisk, then hit enter. The log files will start over automatically after they are removed when the CMS web feature is restarted. Then you would start the CMS web feature by typing CMS web start.
Now I am going to start the CMS main menu to demonstrate turning data collection on for the ACDs and putting the CMS system back into multi-user mode. From the CMS main menu, select System Setup, then Data Collection. From this screen, hit Enter, then select List All to display all the configured ACDs on the system. These are the ACDs you will want to start data collection for. This lab's CMS system has six ACDs configured. Then you would exit the List All screen. To turn data collection on for each ACD, enter the ACD number, tab down if necessary, and put an X for data collection on, then press Enter, select Modify, and then press Enter again. You will see a message show up to view the Connect Status window to determine when data is being transferred and hit return to continue. Now I'm going to exit back to the main menu. I'm going to go into System Setup again and then select CMS State and hit Enter. A CMS production system having this problem would be in single user mode. Put an X next to multi-user mode, hit Enter, then hit Enter again to modify you should see a successful status message. Now you can exit back to the main menu. You should see the link status for the ACDs start changing to an up arrow at the top right of the screen. It may take a few minutes for all of the ACD links to come up. You can also check the status of the links to each ACD from the Maintenance Connection Status menu item. The CMS system should now be in multi-user mode. You can verify that by having other CMS users log into the system. The CMS Supervisor Web feature should also be working, so CMS Supervisor Web users can start logging in to run reports. However, keep in mind this is only a temporary fix. So until Service Pack 1 is installed on the CMS system as a permanent fix, you must periodically check the size of the Catalina log files to prevent the system from automatically turning off data collection and placing itself into single user mode. If the Catalina.out log files are start to get large again, then remove them as often as necessary. Be sure to stop the CMS web feature using the CMS web stop command before removing the log files. After removing the log files, Start the CMS Web feature again using the CMS Web Start command. If the log files are removed before the slash opt file system is full, it won't be necessary to start data collection or put CMS into the multi-user state. Service Pack 1 should be installed on the system as soon as it is available. Then it will no longer be necessary to keep monitoring the size of the log files and removing them. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor.